Mekong River and its surrounding landscape have connected people, economies, and environment for millennia. The river's abundant, nutrient-rich waters have been central to the region's food security, subsistence, and livelihoods for millions of people. Its networks support the highest concentration of biodiversity per hectare of any river in the world, second only to the Amazon in global contribution to biodiversity. Its ecosystem also provides vital protection from the impacts of floods and droughts. Today, rapid economic development and expansion are resulting in deforestation and a continual fragmentation of the Mekong's hydrological networks. This threatens the integrity of its fragile ecosystem and weakens its ability to bounce back from natural and anthropogenic disasters. This situation will worsen as extreme weather events increase due to climate change, impacting both present and future generations. During 2022 to 2023, the Independent Evaluation Office of the Global Environment Facility conducted its first major strategic evaluation in the region to understand how effective GEF support has been in the Lower Mekong countries in addressing these challenges. This evaluation was based on a review of 28 GEF projects across Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia, with fieldwork on a subsample of these projects. The evaluation yielded several positive results. The evaluation found that overall, GEF support was well aligned with national and regional plans on climate adaptation, biodiversity, and sustainable landscape management. The GEF was an early contributor to several regional initiatives within the ASEAN and the Mekong River Commission. GEF support has led to good practices and outcomes at the local level. These include participatory, holistic approaches that improved access to water while also addressing landscape fragmentation, and nature-based agricultural solutions that have led to both environmental and livelihood benefits. GEF support was inclusive and proactive in involving indigenous peoples and women in its projects. One project revealed that farmers were maintaining community ponds and farming techniques. The most effective projects coupled long-term resilience building with immediate community benefits and considered interconnected upstream and downstream ecosystems outside of their immediate target area. However, the evaluation also found that many projects lacked coherent theories of change and results frameworks, which limited the extent to which they could make timely adjustments to improve performance. The evaluation also noted an inconsistent understanding of definitions and guidelines on the concepts and environmental management tools. Scale-up and replicability of local-level projects were also found to be a challenge due to the lack of active involvement and ownership by the central governments, which is critical for the expansion and uptake of good practices. Sustainability was also affected by a lack of long-term finance, including through the limited engagement of the private sector. For example, in Laos, a common opinion was that funding was too low and infrequent, creating barriers to sustaining project outcomes. ดังนั้นโครงการกล่าวว่าเฮาเนี่ยกําลังฉีออกเป็นหมากเลยเดือนนี้กําลังออกออกก็ออกดอกดังนั้นแหละเฮาอยากให้อ่าขยายเวลา
Sustainability could be enhanced by disseminating good practices and designing and implementing mechanisms that would facilitate testing, replication, and scale-up of successful interventions, also mainstreaming them at the national level. And lastly, building robust theories of change for ecosystem-based approaches and monitoring their progress would also allow for adaptations to enhance the effectiveness and long-term sustainability of GEF's investments in the region. Looking to the future, only collective action, innovation, and responsible care will ensure the long-term sustainability of the Mekong.